Hi guys, good morning. It is about 5.30 this morning. I woke up, I'm normally in the garden by six, but I woke up a little bit early because I wanted to do a sunrise plant with me. And I woke up and it's cloudy and the wind is raging. So I have my microphone kind of hidden down in my jacket. Hopefully you can hear me, but <laughs> no sunrise planting because the sun will be hidden, but I thought I will still plant with you guys. Um, I am planting up whiskey barrels. Now I have two that I planted up on either side of my back deck there um, about a month ago and they are filling in so beautifully. I had decided I wanted two more on my back deck just like that. So let me kind of show you. Okay, I have the two Jack Daniels whiskey barrels. I love planting in the old whiskey barrels. Um, but here are my two barrels please ignore that messy trampoline in the background we have tons of like popple pollen this spring and it got stuck to, stuck to the netting so i need to figure out how to clean that but look at these so i have a hibiscus tree and i have tons of buds that are just going to be opening on it very soon and then i have some calla lilies right up front and i'm not sure the variety i was given these but they start like this corally color and then they kind of age to this deep burgundy. Super beautiful. I have some dianthus in front. And then some pansies tucked in, which need to be deadheaded. But I have some pansies in there. Some creeping jenny. I have a type of annual salvia. I'm not sure which variety. It came in like a multi-pack of different colors. I have some white petunias some marigolds because they say marigolds keep the mosquitoes away <laughs> so you know i thought i would try it i haven't noticed a difference but we'll see um and they'll probably get choked out by this purple fountain grass i love purple fountain grass it will get it will get massive and you'll be able to see it peeking out behind the container so there is the other one i love these so much um they're kind of on either side of my biggest staircase on my deck but I have two other entrances one over there so I'm gonna put one there and then one over here right there so let's get planting one finished product all oh, my calla lilies are just flopping over this variety is different 
than all the other ones um i ran out of the other color um but i feel like they look the same in the end this one just starts out burgundy and stays burgundy and the other one starts out a coral color and turns burgundy but this is a proven winner is be my heart but um i think i'm just gonna go through and trim off all these blooms and then it's pushing new growth at the bottom so i think that will perk back up i'll just trim off all of the old ones and yeah and here is the other one that i did i cannot get that hibiscus straight and i think it's the wind coming in this way and it's pushing it over so maybe when the wind calms down it'll be better but look at that bloom is that not beautiful oh this calla lily is super tiny um it's one that i saved over from last year and i didn't think it was alive and i just set it aside and i you know it never started sprouting or taking off breaking dormancy and i set it aside stopped watering it and it just came up one day a few days ago so that's perfect so there's this one and i cannot wait till they start to fill in my hair is crazy oh my goodness this wind this wind, and it's cold it feels like 45 degrees outside and less than like five days ago it was 100 degrees so big drop in temperature but that is it for this video thank you so much for watching please stay tuned i have lots of exciting videos coming up i am sorry for the lack of videos um this last week my son my baby boy seven month old son got really sick I took him to the er and doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong with him so that was really scary i missed a week of work and um still don't know what was wrong with him but they finally ended up just putting him on antibiotics all the tests came back normal they couldn't figure it out wasn't sure if it was the virus if it was an infection i don't know but they finally ended up putting him on antibiotics and i think he must have had an infection somewhere that we just couldn't find because it was when he started getting the antibiotics that he started getting better. So he is almost back to his usual self. So I'm so thankful, so thankful. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.